Good morning. So recently, I went to the ATM to get some cash, and I knew when I got my cash that I would also get a receipt telling me what my balance was. So as I went to put my card in the ATM, I noticed that the last person had left their receipt there. So I took it out to throw it in the trash. But my curiosity got the best of me, and I wanted to see what their balance was. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, my account seems so anemic after that. It was like pathetic. <laughs> But、um, it got me thinking about what is really valuable in life, and what really is wealth. Is it money? Is it possessions? Is it relationships? And I started thinking about what am I after in my life? What am I chasing? The song we just sang, "Chasing You," is oh my gosh, I love that song. The words in it are so personal, and I just love that it talks about that deep desire to follow and to be with God. The words say that I'm, I'm chasing you. As you move, I'm right beside you. That's so cool that we're right there with him. That's what we want our relationship to be. And it says, "I'm so in love. I'm captivated. I'll spend my days running after your heart, your heart, your heart." So it gives me some questions for you.、Um, what is it that you are chasing after? Is that the desire of your heart? Do you want to be following God? Is that something that is such a passion for you? I'll tell you, if you've ever been in that place of that deep relationship, that longing to be with God, <clears throat> and to have that deep relationship, you'll know that there's nothing better. There really isn't. As we've been studying Ecclesiastes, we've seen that life is fleeting, that it really is transitory, and all the things that we have and all the things that we do can sometimes be like chasing after the wind. That we can we can be going along and we can lose our purpose. We can go here and we go there, and all of a sudden, we're just not on key, on cue anymore. So those are just some amazing, some things that.、Um, oops, I apologize. Just following after God is just like that thing that we want, and we want to be following Him. So following God, that is a, a, an awesome. Sorry, excuse me, an awesome endeavor to have. It is the thing that is worth our time. It is the thing that's worth our energy. And it is the thing that is going to cause our hearts to、um, be in that place with God and to be faithful towards God. It's going to fill us up like nothing else that we can ever get filled up with. So, parents, oops, oh, you have not come up. Sorry, you were supposed to come up. <laughs> I get so busy talking. Come on up. So, parents, as you come up, I'm going to challenge you as you give your kids your Bibles, and kids, as you receive your Bibles. I am going to challenge you to be chasing after God, and you in the congregation. I challenge you to go on an adventure, to really spend time with God, to really bask in His love, to do that study and to learn about God, but also to learn from God and learn of God and be in that place with Him that is just such an amazing place to be. So, parents. I'm going to have you take your words, and I want you to look into your child's face and state their name. And will you read this along with me? I am very proud of you. God has created you in an amazing way. You have unique gifts that were given to you by God. He has a special plan for your life that no one but you can fulfill. God already sees who you will become, and has such hope for you. As you read your Bible, I pray that the words will become an important part of your life. I pray that they will guide you, no matter what you do, and no matter where you go. I pray that these words will teach you, correct you, and train you to be the very person that God longs for you to be. I love you. And present to you your very own Bible. All right, and kids, have you got your cards? We're all ready. So I'm going to have you read your words along with me, and speak in a nice, loud voice if you can. Okay, ready? I accept this Bible 
as God's words for me. I will work to know and understand it because it will help me to know God. God can help me grow strong, so I will obey what he teaches. God will give me wisdom to make good choices, so I will ask him. God will take care of my heart, so I will give it to him. I know that my Bible is an important part of my life, so I will read it every day. I am happy to say that this is my Bible. We're just going to take a moment to pray for you guys. God, I am just so um, thankful for all these families. Thank you for their commitment to their kids. And God, it's so exciting to look forward to what you're going to do with these kids' lives. And God, I pray that you would empower them to stay close to you, that they would understand that chasing you is the only thing that's lasting and the only thing that's going to really, truly fulfill them. So God, bless them every day. Help them to learn the disciplines um, of faith and just keep them close by your side. In Jesus' name, amen.